I am so sick right now. I can't, I honestly cannot believe this news, but young Dolph was shot and killed at age 36 in South Memphis today. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Milan Garcon. These are the actuals and factuals, and I'm your host. Oh, goodness, I'm sorry. I'm just like, Young Dolph is one of my favorite rappers, so we're going to get through it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe so that you stay updated with all of the news, fashion, beauty updates that I have for you all. If you miss a video, you miss a lot. Take a seat. So today around 1 p.m., three independent law enforcement officers, meaning they were not a part of South Memphis Police Department, but they were law enforcement officers. Um, they Their identities are not out there, but they were the sources that did confirm that Young Dolph was the victim of the killing that happened in South Memphis today. So basically, let me read you the facts. So today around 1 p.m., three independent law enforcement sources confirmed rapper Young Dolph was shot and killed today in Memphis. Employees and the owner of McDeath Butter Cookies, <laughs> the shop where the shooting took place, say the rapper walked into the bakery to buy cookies. You can also see, now I found this video through a bit of research. You can see Young Dolph actually buying the cookies. Well, not buying the cookies, but right after the, he got the cookies, they're literally in his hand, fresh, hot out the oven. And you see, I don't know if this was the owner or one of the employees that recorded this video, but they literally, you know, recorded some video for promotion for their business and also shouting out Dolph because Young Dolph is also a Memphis, Tennessee native. So remember that. That is very important in this story. So back to the facts. Sometime after the video ends is when someone then pulled up, shot and killed Young Dolph around 1 p.m. Now. The police did secure the crime scene. They also told the other shops in the plaza to close for the day for their own safety because they do not know who the shooter is at this point. So that is where the law is with this entire situation. I was literally at work when this story broke. My best friend texted me. Me and all my best friends were from Cleveland, Ohio, the Midwest. We love young Dolph out there. And we were just like in our group chat, literally gagging like, are you serious? Like, what? Young Dolph died? And the reason I think we were so surprised because Young Dolph has a trend in his music where he kind of talks about what he goes through in his life and talks about, you know, the dirty part of the rap game and the dirty part of, you know, Memphis, Tennessee and how it's very violent and not safe. So we were like really gagging about that because it's like the things that he talked about in his music actually came true today, which is super disheartening. So let's get into the allegedness of the story. If that wasn't heartbreaking enough, like those are all of the actuals and factuals. That's what happened today, according to police and news sources. Yeah. Those that know Young Dolph and know his music and kind of know what he does in the industry, we already know that there's a beef between Black Youngster, Yo Gotti, and Young Dolph. So Yo Young Dolph is kind of on his lonesome in this situation. Black Youngster and Yo Gotti kind of don't like Young Dolph. This is all alleged. So don't, don't try to think that this is a part of the news story because it's not. This is the streets talking. This is what everybody's talking about on Twitter, on Instagram, because we follow Young Dolph. So right now it's 8 p.m. At 6 o'clock, police are all outside of Yo Gotti and his mom's restaurant, Privé, in Memphis out of fear that there would be retaliation because the police also know the beef that's going on in the streets. So let's hop over to what the streets are saying. In 2017, he released a project called Bulletproof. So this had a lot of meanings. Bulletproof is literally exactly what it sounds like, but it plays into the events that occurred prior to the project being released. So, over 100 shots were fired at Young Dolph's SUV in Charlotte, North Carolina. The Memphis rapper escaped unharmed thanks to bulletproof panels in the SUV. Black Youngson was actually arrested for an alleged role being played in the North Carolina shooting where over 100 shots were uh, fired at Young Dolph. And nothing really ever came from that. It kind of just got swept under the rug. The media stopped talking about it and we all moved on. But everybody knows that Black Youngster and Yo Gotti have this beef with Young Dolph. So South Memphis is now a war zone. It's an entire war zone. You can see there, there are police cars everywhere in the streets. There is no traffic moving. It is literally creeping and crawling. At the crime scene right now, you can see Dolph's sisters. You see fans. People are crying. Uh, people are kneeling. And people are really just trying to 
sink into reality what's actually happening right now. No arrests have been made in this case. Police have not identified a shooting suspect. So we're pretty much in the wind just waiting to figure out what the police find versus what the streets find. And if the two match up, it's going to be a big deal. And if the streets find out who did it before the police find out, I think that we will be reporting more violence before there's any type of resolution. I send out my condolences to the family and friends, his wife and children that he left behind. And I just want to say rest in peace to the rapper Young Dolph. We love you. Your legacy lives on. Thank God he owned his masters. Go stream his music. This, this video was a bit longer, but again, this one was really near and dear to my heart. I love Young Dolph. I can't believe that we won't be getting any more projects from him, new projects. Um, hopefully there's some music in the vaults that, you know, his family could put out in his memorial and you know hopefully they can gain from that because they lost a father and a husband and he was a good father and a husband he gave back to his community he gave twenty five thousand dollars to sports in his in his hometown like he he gave out turkeys for thanksgiving like he was always giving back and it's just so sad when beef and drama really turns into actual violence so Make sure you stick with me here at the Actuals and Factuals. I am your host, Milan Garcon. Turn your notifications on, subscribe. You miss a video, you will miss a lot. And I'm bringing you daily content consistently. And I love y'all. It's been real and it's been fun. But this one ain't been real fun. I'll see you next.